Hi guys, Jesse from Full Strength and Conditioning here. Today's video, I want to show you a quick and simple way that you can set up your Concept 2 rower to perform intervals. So rather than using a stopwatch, having to go start, stop, reset, I'm going to show you how you can set it up before you even start rowing. This will give you a direct time of each row and will mean less mucking around in between your work sets. So to start with, you press the menu back button of the rower. Hopefully it starts up. So here we go, starting up, concept two. This is your main menu. From here, you're going to click select workout. From here, you're going to go new workout. After that, you're going to pick any of these options. So generally, uh, as an example, I'll use a three times 500 meters interval as a, as a guide. So if we're doing three lots of 500 meters, I'll go intervals and distance. Set distance. 500 meters, uh, I'll change it. Let's say it's five lots of 300 meters, so you can see me change. We want 300, so we come down, minus, minus, there's 300. Scroll across, scroll across, scroll across. Then I'm going to set my rest time. I'm going to have, let's say it's one minute rest in between bounce. So I'm gonna scroll across again. Set rest time one minute, and then that's it. I'm completing 300 meters. We're going to rest for one minute in between sets. Once you've done that, you press this bottom button, saying, yep, that's all good, and then you start. And that's pretty much it, guys. I generally like this display here, very easy to see. Up the top, you have your meters that you've actually counted down, back from the 300. Calories per hour, you can change that via the change units. I like this display here, per 500 meters. So this gives you a breakdown of your current stroke rate. So depending on whatever your rowing speed and power output is, this will give you a time of how long it will take you to complete 500 meters at your current pace. So that's your pacing. Then you have your duration, so how long it's actually taking you to do the row. And then you have your strokes per minute. So the shorter the row, not necessarily meaning we want more actual strokes. We want a high power output and we want the stroke rate to be fairly low. We actually want to sit at anywhere between sort of 18 and 25 strokes per minute, depending on your strength levels and also your lever length, so the arm and leg lengths. So I'll quickly recap. Menu, select workout. I'm gonna do a different one this time. So new workout, I'm gonna show you how you can do it for time. So let's say I wanna do 10 lots of one minute rows. So I'll go intervals time, press time, one minute, and I'll have one minute rest in between bouts, and I'll have one minute on, one minute off, and there it is. There you have it guys, that's how you set up the Concept 2 rower. I hope that gives you a hand and can improve your interval training and conditioning. Until next time, look out for another full strength and conditioning video.